In this video, I'm going to show you my new favorite defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. My goal here on YouTube is very simple. We're just trying to become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. And from my research, um, only 40% of you guys that are actually will watch this video have actually subscribed to the channel. So for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free. And it just basically means that you're gonna, you, you want to be a part of the channel, right? You want to know whenever we release new videos. We release new videos every single day. And I also wanted to let you guys know before we dive too deep into this that we actually have a text message membership where you can essentially ask me your questions uh, via text message. My phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And we also do something really cool for our text members. We, every single week, we release a brand new scheme for you. So we've covered Trips Tied In. We've covered U Trips. We've covered Big Nickel. We've covered number 335 wide a lot of different things so if you want to get those schemes and they're completely free to you all you have to do is text me okay guys i wanted to dive in a little bit today and i wanted to share with you a defensive uh, adjustment that has really helped me be able to take care of some of the best offenses in the game including the shotgun bunch which a lot of people have been messaging me and saying they've been having a hard time stopping so here's the adjustments in a nutshell and it does is isn't this is an excerpt from my 335 wide defensive ebook so if you want to get the full ebook that's in the description but here's the adjustments the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put auto flip on we're going to have auto alignment to default ball and air defense to play receiver quarterback matchups are on balance option defense is on conservative and here's the adjustment that's really really important we're going to take these flat zones and i actually like to put them at 20 yards you can put them at 25 um, as well um, just depending on what they're throwing against you but i like to start with 20 and i probably will adjust them depending on the situation if it's you know third and 15 i might be at 25 if it's third and five i might be at 15 okay so that's that's kind of how but i think tinkering with these zone drops throughout the game is actually really really important uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my curl flats on 10 yards. Now, I used to be putting these on 5. The reason I've gone to 10 is because I think it does a much better job against like motion slant routes, um, little quick routes like that, and even curl routes. So we're going to go with 10 yards. And then hook curls, I love having these on 5. Um, I used to be a person that liked to leave these on default, um, and you can do that. The reason I like to have them on 5 is I think they just do a better job of jumping the underneath routes, the quick hitches and things like that now the defense that we're going to be audibling into is the cover four show two out of the three three five wide uh defense okay uh cover four has become my new favorite way to play defense uh, i just think it does a really really good job i actually have been spending a lot of time working on um using it out of the core just basic nickel three three five um and i'm looking into that a little bit more deeply but anyway here's the defense so we're going to come out we're going to audible to cover four show two and then from there, uh, all we're going to do, and, and again, if you think about bunch, right, and think about what people are going to try to do to you, um, really it's going to be corner routes, crossing routes, and post routes. So those are the major things that you have to take care of. So the first question is, how do we take care of the, the solo receiver side? Well, I like to play cover two on the solo receiver side. So you're going to see that I'm going to do something essentially like this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and basically put this corner on the right side into a, a flat zone. And then I'm going to put this corner, or safety, I'm sorry, into a deep uh, deep half. So you see here, it's basically I'm creating a cover six, is essentially, is what I'm doing. And we're going to play cover four on this back side here. And I actually love to leave it just like this. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do typically is I'm going to spread my defensive line. I'm oftentimes going to crash them out. And then from there, I'm almost always going to take the nose tackle and I'm going to put him into a bluff blitz, just like this. And you see it's going to create a three rack hook. Now from there, I have a couple of different options of things that I can do. Uh, one of those things that I can do is I can take this linebacker and I can do pretty much anything I want with him. Now, I will typically man him up onto the slot or man him up onto the tight end. One of the two players. Um, another thing, I'll sometimes will drop him into a flat zone, but I want to kind of try to avoid doing that. Uh, I'll also drop him into a vertical hook. There's, I, I, you know, he's kind of the guy you can do whatever you want with. Um, but what you'll notice with this defense, and what I think it does a really good job of, is take away a lot of what they want to do. Because you've got this cover two side um, over here. Remember that 
essentially, they're, most people that run bunch, they're always going to run their bunch to the wide side of the field. So Tampa 2 is really good to the short side. It's absolutely terrible to the wide side, okay? So that's why I like to do that. Um, at least my opinion, that's my opinion on Tampa 2. Uh, but anyway, this is kind of the core setup that I will run a lot. And we'll just show you here kind of, and we'll go back through and look here. But essentially, I'm just going to lurk over here. Now, I want to show you that this is America's favorite play right now. I mean, especially with Playmaker. And it, basically, your job is to take away the Playmaker. But if you take a look here in instant replay let's take a look at what happens here so first and foremost you've got your little five yard out now it, it is open um the out route is open okay but we kind of deter it a little bit most people don't want to throw out routes right most people want to throw corner routes um and so here you'll see this corner route like there's a window to throw it but it's not super open uh and then as you see here obviously we got the tight end we got the tight end taken care of up top and then we're just usering over the middle. Uh, on the back side, you see we're, we're hanging with those flats. Now, what, what this boils down to is those curl flats, when you put them on 10 yards, the flat routes can be completed. Like, people can throw flat routes on you, but they can't throw them for 15 yards, right? They can throw them for about 5 yards. And that's a big difference. Um, and so it keeps kind of things in front of you a little bit. Uh, let me show you another way to do this. So the, the next thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could essentially run uh, basically Mabel coverage on both sides from a cover four perspective. Now you only have one player in the middle of the field, but you have really, really good outside coverage. So you do something like that. Now you've got, now you've got flats. And again, your user is going to probably be in the middle of the field. Now I want to show you this route to Chris Godwin and show you kind of what this does to it. But essentially... That that right there is a click on pick. You could click onto the corner and you could make a play on that ball. So that's why I really like this defense because I think that it really does a good job primarily against corner routes because these these outside quarter zones do really really well against that. Um, they're able to play those really really well, especially um, especially in this situation here. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. If you want to get the full defense, now there, you can send pressure from this as well. Um, sending pressure from this is relatively easy. You're just going to basically blitz all your linebackers, and then from there, what I like to do is simply this right here. Right, you'll see. I'll do this a lot. Like this is one of my favorite setups right here, and the reason why is because I can really I can really hold down a lot with this, and the pressure comes in so fast. But they can't run the flood concept to the left side. If you know, if you ever watch people that run bunch, what a lot of people do that, that run bunch, they're going to run a flood to the left almost every single time. Very few people will run floods to the right. You know, the best bunch players, they'll run floods to the right. But anyway, that's a little bit about how to stop gun bunch uh, with this. You could stop a lot of things with this. You could stop a lot of the trips tied in meta as well with this setup right here. Um, this the, the quarters do a really good job against crossers. And there you see, that's what we're looking at right there. Uh, and again, if you can click on in the corner, which I can't because i got two controllers, that's a pretty good click on pick. So... That's a little bit of a preview of the defensive ebook. In the defensive ebook, we show you how to stop bunch, strong close, trips tight end, bunch tight end, uh, as well as some other meta formations. We also show you how to stop every run in the game. Uh, so, in my opinion, three three five wide is the best defense in the game. There's a reason that all of the pro players right now are running this defense. It is that powerful. It is that effective. And when you, what most people aren't doing is they're not mixing in this cover four. And I believe that this cover four is a critical critical setup to learn um it really does help a lot um especially if you roll it into a cover six running cover fours and cover sixes i think are the way to go because those outside quarters do such a good job on the wide side of the field they don't do a great job on the near side on the short side they do a really good job on the wide side um because they are they are the only deep route in the game that will jump corner routes, at least in my opinion. So thanks for watching this video. Have any questions, text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner. It's also in the description. And if you want to get the full ebook, that 335 wide defense is in the description. It's the best defense in the game by far. Um, people, we've taken people that haven't been able to stop, you know, anybody, and now they're pitching shutouts. We've got people that have, you know, been perennial losers, and now they're on several game winning streaks. Like, people have – this defense has – 
really helped a lot of people. So if you want to get it, the link's in the description. And if you want to get a free sample for the ebook, just text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644 and let me know that you'd like to get a free sample. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys um, we'll, we'll see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.